Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video with today the villagers have gone ahead and invited us to this wonderful zoo where apparently they want us to go ahead and spawn some very unusual Alex's mobs where apparently there's going to be some brand new ones that we've never seen before but let's go and read this book that the villagers have given us and hopefully we can make this zoo a very wonderful place. Hello Naveed, we are going to open our zoo today and we haven't spawned many animals. Can you please help us spawn the rest? The guests will be here at any minute. Wait, are you saying you haven't got any time whatsoever? Okay, let's go and hurry up and hopefully we can help every single one of these villagers spawn all of these wonderful mobs. I'm a little bit scared that we won't have enough time, especially if all the villagers are going to start showing up and we're going to be spawning mobs, which I think is going to be pretty crazy. But thankfully, the main office looks pretty decent and they've gone ahead and sorted everything out to look wonderful. But let's keep on going and let's start spawning our awesome monsters. I'm going to spawn the first one, which is the Hammerhead Shark, which I'm going to spawn right inside this pond over here. Hopefully it's big enough. Let me go and see what it looks like. I'm perfect. Cool. This guy looks so awesome. But I'm a little bit scared that his eyes might get poked out because this is a very small tank. But you know what, guys? I think maybe next time we can go ahead and spawn him in a better location, like the ocean. That would have been decent. And maybe we can spawn some friends for all these villagers. Like the rattlesnake. <laughs> Watch out. It's getting really angry. Okay, let's make sure that the iron golem doesn't go and attack it. Villagers, don't you guys worry. As long as you don't get too close, we should be pretty safe. Okay, let's get out of here before he goes ahead and poisons us. Thankfully though, we still got so many more to go ahead and do. So let me head inside the jungle and let's go and spawn our wonderful gorilla. Cool! <laughs> oh, and he's eating wonderful items! Oh, this is awesome! Who would have thought today we'd be catching a gorilla having such a wonderful time? Maybe we can spawn some wonderful friends for him. Let me go and do the hummingbird that will go ahead and make this place a wonderful thing. And perfect! Oh, and he's instantly flown off looking for items to peck at. As well, let's go and do the crocodile inside this water. Perfect! Let's go and have a quick look! Maybe we shouldn't have spawned it right next to all the ocelots. That was maybe a bad plan. But let's go and try and get out of here and maybe we can be a little bit safe. Thankfully, the hummingbird is having a wonderful time. Let me go and head out and let me go and see if we can spawn some other items. Thankfully, I don't have to spawn every single one of them inside the cages. I'm sure some of the villager guests would enjoy it so much if we spawn some gazelles wandering around. So hopefully these guys can have a wonderful time. <laughs> Look at them! They're shaking off all the flies. I wonder if we've got some flies to go ahead and give them. Well, let me go ahead and spawn the next one, which is the Roadrunner, which I'm going to spawn right around here. This is going to be a perfect spot. Perfect! <laughs> I'm hoping that the Iron Golems can go ahead and keep these monsters safe. And there he goes, instantly running off, looking for bugs to go ahead and eat. I think the villagers are going to have so much fun. But some of them are a little bit dangerous. So let me go and spawn the grizzly bear right inside one of these cages over here. Let me go and spawn it. I'm perfect. And let's go and have a quick look. I'm a little bit scared that he might fight with the gorilla. But I'm kind of hoping we should be alright. No, he's coming after us. Quickly, let's close this door. <laughs> I can't believe he instantly tried to attack us. Let's go and see if he's trying to kill us. Okay, as long as we stay away, we should be safe. Maybe the next one we can go ahead and do is the orca. So let's go inside this exhibit, which I think is the wrong one. Yep, definitely is. And let me go ahead and check out this one over here. There is a location where we can go ahead and spawn the orca. Do you know what? Let me just do it here until we can find its own home. Let's spawn it. I'm perfect. And I feel kind of bad. It is pretty tiny in there. But I did think we had a little spot where we could go ahead and spawn it. Maybe we're a little bit confused with some of these other locations. Um, yep, I'm going to have to find a better spot for the orca. That is definitely not a very good spot. But maybe the villagers can go ahead and help us. Villager, I'm going to need some food. And maybe we can go ahead and find a wonderful home for our orca. But sadly, we're going to have to keep all the guests away from the grizzly bear. He was really evil to us. Let's get out of here and let me go ahead and do the kangaroo, which I'm kind of hoping we should be able to spawn one that roams around. Let me spawn it right around here. 
Perfect. Let's go see if it's friendly or not. I do know if you attack it, he might try and punch you. I'm hoping the villagers are going to enjoy this one so much. Yep. <laughs> it looks so awesome. Maybe we can spawn the anteater as well. This guy is that brand new mob that we can test out. And I think maybe we have some ants to go ahead and spawn for him. Let me go ahead and check. Nope. None so far, but I'm pretty sure we did see some around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. We got a leaf cutter ant. Let me spawn it. I'm perfect, and let's go see what happens. <laughs> Maybe he hasn't seen it. Okay. Oh, wait. He's actually cutting leaves. That is so awesome. Maybe he's going to take it back to his own house. Oh, I think he's seen it. Did he eat it? <laughs> I think he did. He's gone ahead and eaten our poor ant. Ah, this is such a life cycle. Well, let me go and spawn the Tasmanian devil right inside this haunted castle. And hopefully we should be able to do this. Um, villager, I hope it's okay if we go ahead and spawn some of our monsters right inside these cages. I'm kind of scared that the Tasmanian devil could be dangerous. Is he friendly? Oh, maybe he is. So let's get him out. Come on, Tasmanian devil. Let's get out of here. And I'm also kind of hoping that our Mimic Octopus will go ahead and blend in. <laughs> cool. There he goes. Slowly by slowly blending in with the ground. And he's heading straight for the water. Such a smart octopus. And let's not give up now, but let's head to the next cage. And let's go and spawn our tiger. I'm going to do it right inside here. I'm kind of hoping that the mushroom should be a wonderful location for it. Whoa. And he's already got items to attack. No. He's killing everything. Okay. Okay. Let's close this door and let's make sure he doesn't reach out for any of the villagers. This is so scary. I'm kind of hoping maybe we can spawn a friend for it. Wait, where did he go? Did he just disappear? Um, that is actually kind of unusual. Can you guys see it? Tiger, where did you go? Ah, there he is. Okay, let's get out of here. I didn't realize that Tiger could go ahead and disappear like that. Maybe he can camouflage perfectly with its surroundings. And he's instantly turned evil. Well, let's go and spawn the next one, which I'm going to do the anaconda. And hopefully this should be a pretty decent little spawn for us. Let me spawn it. I'm perfect. And let's go and see what happens. Whoa, look how big this is. And I think he's instantly coming for us. No, he's got our face. <laughs> okay, let's spawn back. And let's go and do the last few items. Villagers, I'm sure we can open at any moment. But I am going to need some snacks to go ahead and finish these off. Let me go ahead and spawn our maned wolf and then our platypus. The platypus I am going to spawn with our cows, which I'm sure is going to be a wonderful little addition. And perfect. <laughs> and I'm wondering when that's Perry the platypus. But let's just leave him in there and I'm sure he should be safe in the water. And let me go ahead and spawn the maned wolf. I'm perfect. And let's close this door and let's go see what happens. I'm kind of wondering if he's going to attack the chickens. I'm really hoping it doesn't. Wait, I think he wants our chicken. Let's go see if we can give it to him. Yes, have we got our own pet now? <laughs> okay, let's go roam out and let's go see if it follows us. I'm kind of hoping he should be able to do it. Come on. Okay, let me go see if I can open this door a little bit more. I'm kind of hoping he's friendly. Let's open this door and let's go see if this works. If we can have a wonderful pet, this would be the best day ever. So let's roam out and let's go see if he follows us now. Is he doing it? I, I, I can't really tell. No, I don't think he is. I think he just took our chicken and they decided to roam away. Well, let me go and do the last few mobs and hopefully this should be pretty decent. I'm going to do the emu, which is a really awesome one, which I'm hoping at some point we can go ahead and ride. <laughs> and there he goes. Ah, oh, this is so crazy. Let's also do the lobster right inside this lake and hopefully none of the villagers will go ahead and steal it. And I'm sure we can go ahead and spawn a toucan to go ahead and roam around as well. But let's not stop here and let me go ahead and do the Komodo dragon, which I'm pretty sure we have to go ahead and spawn in a cage. So let me spawn it right around here. Whoops, my bad. I'm so sorry. Let's go and break this and let's go see if it helps. Perfect. Now that we've saved him, I'm kind of hoping he should have a little bit of help for us. And he's killing the poor pig. He literally just poisoned him and destroyed him. Well, let me go and spawn the bold eagle that can go ahead and roam around. And I'm sure hoping he won't attack any of our friends. There he goes. <laughs> Roaming around, instantly looking for something to eat. And let's also do the capuchin monkey that I'm going to go ahead and spawn in this main entrance. Let's spawn it. I'm perfect, and I'm hoping we can go ahead and spawn the moose for him, so all the villagers, as they enter and buy their tickets, they can go ahead and have some animals with her. Let's just spawn the tussling, which is a pretty cool animal, and I'm kind of scared he might try and go ahead and attack us, but he is one of the biggest pigs I've ever seen. Wait! 
<laughs> no! Ah, oh, this is awful. We should have spawned him somewhere else. Well, let's head out and let me go ahead and spawn the alligator snapping gar. And let's go and spawn it right around there. Let's close this door. I'm perfect. I'm hoping we should be able to see him like this. Yep, I thought so. A really dangerous creature. And guys, sadly, we're on the last few monsters that we need to go ahead and spawn. So let me spawn the raccoon. That's going to be a pretty decent creature. But I'm thinking he might try and steal everyone's items. Wait, what's he doing? Hey, what's he doing? No, the bald eagle tried to attack him. This is awful. I knew we shouldn't have done that. Well, maybe we can spawn the crow to go ahead and scare off the bald eagle. And let's also do the seal, which should be a pretty decent creature. No, someone help him. This is awful. Um, okay, I didn't realize that was going to happen. Maybe we can spawn a cockroach for the bald eagle. Let's spawn it. And there it goes. <laughs> and I can already see we've got a few villagers roaming around having a look at the animals. This is awesome. Let me not forget to go ahead and do a wonderful elephant that I should be right around here. Let's spawn it. And perfect. And look at his tusks. These are one of the biggest items I've ever seen. And let's not forget to go ahead and do a snow leopard right inside these cages over here. Let's jump over. And perfect. Let's go and spawn it right here. And there it goes. Now, let's close our door and let's make sure he doesn't escape. Maybe I could spawn the shoe bill to go ahead and keep him in check. Let's go see if this works. I can't really tell if he's trying to hunt us. So let's jump out and let's go and spawn our last item. Wait. How did he jump over? Okay, maybe we've messed up here. I have a feeling he can go ahead and jump over many blocks. Let me spawn my giant well. <laughs> that is going to be well too big for this location. But sadly, I didn't actually have anywhere to go ahead and put it. I can't see he's hating this so much. I'm going to have to dig him out. Well, guys, it's been so fun today going ahead and spawning every single one of our items. Hopefully, the villagers now can go ahead and open their zoo and start their wonderful business. So guys, I wish you to another crazy Minecraft video, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and press notifications bell. And guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out. Villagers, can I get some more items from you guys?